today we are going to build a CNC engraver from a kit. It's the Saint Smart Jamisu. For those of you who don't know, CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control, which is how we control laser cutters and 3D printers also. But we don't really call them CNC machines. It's a little confusing. Anyway, as it turns out, we mostly use CNC to describe a computer control machine tool that cuts away material. In DIY, this usually means a spinning cutting tool that moves on the same X, Y, and Z axis a 3D printer does. But instead of squirting out hot plastic that dries in layers, it cuts away material. Last year, I got into metalworking a tiny bit for my BattleBow Compact RC car project. It's a lot of fun, but working metal with hand tools when you are a small person, not fun. I'm not just smaller, I'm about a third or less as strong as most guys are. Imagine that power drill weighing three times as much, twisting your wrist three times as hard, or while holding a grip made for a hand three times as large. Yeah, yeah, I'm Chinese. Don't try to map me in the comments. Square kill law is not doing me any favors. Anyway, power tools cutting metal in a small apartment, it would be pushing my luck with my very patient neighbors. But as it turns out, I may not have those neighbors for long. My rent is going up 50% next year. That's pretty normal for Shenzhen because the city is growing so fast. I'm thinking if I can get some small space in the factory complex, maybe I can live there. Fix it up a little bit and have space where I can use machine tools that won't bother any neighbors. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I've got a few months to figure it out. The thing is though, if I ever do have access to a proper CNC machine, I want to have some idea of what I'm doing. I want to put in a study time so I don't make a complete fool of myself when the time comes. So Sing Smart offering me their Jemisu CNC router kit this week was really good timing. I hope it's a good little machine to learn on, but let's open it up, put it together and find out. Okay, I've done all the software and the CNC router kit are all set, but I'm not sure the wire is all in the right position. Precision. So I'm going to test it without the cutter first. Oh, for the safety, I'm going to cover myself up.
This video is sponsored by Creality 3D, makers of the Ender 3 3D printer. Check the description box for more info. Okay, now the wheel thing. Okay, so not super impressive, but as I said, I'm using it to learn on. So the results are going to be pretty modest at first. You have to be patient with me. As far as putting it together, it's basically a 3D printer, but with a spinny thing instead of a squirty thing. It's a lot like putting together the bar bath I made. I think the car lights should come attached to the spindle. I don't think most people want to use a torch like I have to. I kind of wish it was at least partially assembled. But if there's one thing 3D printers have taught me is that whatever time you save with having things already assembled, you lose not knowing exactly how to take it apart when it's time to troubleshoot. So I think putting this together from parts was probably best for me if I want to learn. I'm just being lazy. I know it looks like I just pulled this out of the box and started milling things, but it was only because I did a lot of starting beforehand. That's not any fault in the Jamisu. CNC is a big step up from 3D printing, and it seems like SingSmart has done everything they can to make that learning experience as easy as possible. I'll link to the videos I study in the comments section. Next time, I'm going to try making something of my own design. It looks a little tricky, but I think I can do it. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.